Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome back to Melda242. I am Romelda, and today I have two lobsters, and we are making lobster fried rice today. Okay, I have my husband here in the kitchen helping me out. He has already ringed, wrong them, and the tail is now separated from the head. So he's trying to get it open just to get all of that that liquid right there all of that stuff out that's what I want okay just like that that is some powerful stuff that has lots of flavor okay so oh my word all of that a little bit goes a long way so he's helping me out we're gonna let them drain right in this bowl Probably get some scraps out of the legs and just like that. That's a good size piece. Take all of that off the end. Now the tails are going to be used used in another recipe. So I'm not adding those in today. All of those there. It's going to be used for something else. Drain out. All the goodness has to come out. Okay, my pot is on, the onion, celery, and the uh, thyme, it's in. I've already added the lobster fat, it has been frying now for two minutes. The stove is on medium, look at it, and here it's lit. Oh my word. All of the goodness is at the bottom. Whew. This is going to be something here today. I'm just trying to get it off. Work it. I am still bringing the restaurant home to my family today. We are having lobster, fat, and rice. Barbecue, pork chops, and chicken wings, macaroni and cheese, coleslaw. Okay, that's a little bit of pepper flakes, red pepper flakes I'm just adding in. Just to jazz it up a bit. Now feel free to use black pepper or any other pepper of your choice. And salt. Go lightly with the salt now. Season as you go. Less is always best. When you get it in, too much in, you're not going to be able to get it out. So be wise with the salt. I'm adding some green pigeon peas to this. Okay, just like that. You think crab and rice is nice, you need to check this out. You wouldn't throw the heads away, never again. Okay, the rice is already in. Washed and it's in, now I'm adding water. Just to bring it home. I didn't add any tomato paste or brownie. This is gonna be straight up. Lobster fat and rice. Everything natural today. All right. Now I'm going to add some more salt to taste. Add as you go. Don't put all in all, all at once. You will have a problem. Now with my recipes, remember you can add, multiply, subtract, or divide. Whatever you don't want, leave out. You want more of something, add it in. It's your pot. Oh, I don't use this and I don't use that. It's yours. Don't add it in. Okay, how does that sound? I'm seasoning this to taste. This is a very big pot. I'm having a crowd today. Inspector Bain, my two daughters, their family, and it's the three of us here, so you know, this is gonna go a long way. This is lobster fat and rice. Oh my word. And here it's going to be lit today. I also made a guava pound cake. That's the flavor. I'm satisfied. The stove is on medium, so you know. So I'm going to cover it down and allow it to do its thing. Wouldn't touch it until the water has dried out. Now while that is working out, I'm just frying the pork chops, just trying to get off some of the fat before adding it to the 
barbecue sauce. Okay, the rice is finished. That's the first check. Stirring it up, mixing it up. Because everything has, just has risen to the, the top, so I'm just mixing them up. Oh my word, look at that. No browning in that. This is all natural. Lots of fat. And rice with peas. Oh my word, this smells great. Wish you were here to try this. Oh, now the rice is finished, so I'm just going to work this barbecue sauce. I'm using the entire bottle and I'm going to add these ingredients in one at a time. Don't go anywhere, watch me do it. Mustard. Whatever you don't want in, in your barbecue sauce, don't add it. Okay? It's your pot. Garlic powder. You can use the fresh garlic if you wish. Some cinnamon. Not too much of that because you know, cinnamon is very strong. A little pinch of all spice. Brown sugar, now you can use brown sugar or honey. It's up to you, whatever you have, work it. Now I added some pineapple orange juice to this. Bluebird pineapple orange juice to the bottle just to get all of the goodness out. I'm just emptying it right in the pot. Now I'm giving this a good mix and then I'm going to allow it to cook, boil, for about three to five minutes. This sauce is going to be lit. I can tell you that. You need to try it out. This is just one of our version of barbecue sauce. So, work it. It's boiling. All right. Stove is still on medium. Now it's time to add the pork chops and the fried chicken wings. Now some of the pork chops are dark brown, so it's going to alter the color of the barbecue sauce. Just the color, it's just gonna alter the color, not the taste. Trust me. See that, that's flavor. All right. That is flavor there. It's gonna go down in this kitchen today. We are having lobster fried rice, barbecue pork chops and chicken wings, baked macaroni and cheese, Coleslaw, that's a spread right there. Oh my word, look at it. It's going down today. That's it. Mm -hmm. Oh my word, they're coming. Woohoo! That's a serving. Thank you very much for watching this video all the way to the end. If you have enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, share it out. Be sure to check out the description box now. God bless you and I will, I will see you in the next one.